friends, welcome back. We're ready to take the dough out of the oven now. It's been rising for two hours in a warm spot with a loose fitting lid. And the oven is quite warm in there, so uh, it does rise quite nicely. So there you go, you can see how it looks. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on top of it. And uh, my hands are washed and clean, and I'm gonna flour my hands as well because this dough is quite sticky. As you'll be able to see here, it's quite jiggly and very sticky, sticky. So we're gonna get two loaves of bread out of this recipe. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it, try to make it as even as possible. And like I said, it's very sticky. So don't be afraid to flour your hands and you are going to end up with flour all over the place and maybe some dough too. So if you don't mind getting your hands all sticky with dough, you're going to like this recipe. And uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can with it. And as you can see, I'm not perfect with it. So just make it into a, a ball as best you can. And then you're going to put it onto some parchment paper. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So the next one, we're going to get the next one out of here. And then this dough is going to sit for 40 minutes on the counter in a warm spot. And after 20 minutes, you're going to turn your oven on to 450 degrees. All right. And then after your last 20 minutes of the dough rising, you're going to put it in the oven on a pizza stone. Now, if you don't have a pizza stone, you can put it on a cookie sheet, or you can even put this in a loaf pan if you like. And it will come out just as lovely. But it does come out better if you can do it this way on the cookie sheet. All right, so let me just get this off my hands here. Very sticky. And it rises just lovely in the oven. It's like glue. <laughs> All right, so there we go, on to the parchment paper. Now, once this does rise up, it's gonna look a little bit different. It's not gonna look so mucky and uh, like glue here, but it's gonna be a lovely tasting loaf of bread. So I will see you back here in 40 minutes, and then we'll be getting the bread into the oven, okay? Hi, we're back. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes. Uh, my bread has rose a little bit as you can see it doesn't rise a lot a lot but it does rise a little bit more and it's rested so what we're going to do now is we're going to take some melted butter and we're going to brush the top of the bread with some melted butter before it goes into the oven and it's quite nice and soft so it should be very delicious when it comes out of the oven after it's cooked and it's going to go in the oven again at 450 degrees and bake for 30 minutes. Now with your loaves a little bit smaller, uh, it may not take the whole 30 minutes, but at least 25 to 30 for sure. 25 for sure. Okay, and I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on top as well, just so it has a nice little bit of taste to it and then, you know, a little bit of presentation there. And that's all, nothing too, too crazy. And then I'm gonna take a little knife here and I'm just gonna cut some whole, uh, some slits around it just so that when it bakes, it doesn't explode your bread. So you're just gonna take it and slice into your bread. Like so, do three on the top and then go around the side here and cut into the side as well. And then this is gonna go in your oven just gonna turn this around a bit here so I can get the other side. And I've got a pizza peel. Now, not everybody has these things. So you can do it, like I said before, without a pizza peel or without the pizza stone. You can just bake it in a loaf pan. And that's our bread, okay? So nice, delicious bread this is going to be. Just wanna make a nice cut into there. You can see how it's frozen up and it's came together quite nice. Okay, so this is gonna go into the oven, 450 degrees for 30 minutes onto a pizza stone. 
as well I'm going to have a bowl of water in the oven so that will provide some moisture for the bread as well and I'm just gonna pour some water in here out of my kettle it can be tap water this is uh, actually I better do tap water because um, it's hot and I don't want to burn myself so just uh, take that here as you can see I've had the bowl sitting in the oven so it should steam and that'll give our bread some nice moisture as well while it's cooking. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes and we'll see you back here in 30 minutes when I take that out of the oven. Hi folks, we're back. So my bread has been in for um, 27 minutes. I'm going to take it out now because it's looking to me like it's done. And um, I'm going to use my paddle to get it out of the oven. It looks amazingly beautiful. Nice and brown. And you can see how nice it's risen up. And looks like a beautiful loaf of bread that you're going to get from the bakery at home made with no sugar. Now I'm just going to stick my other loaf in. That one has to bake for 30 minutes, 27 to 30 minutes. We'll get that one in the oven as well. And then uh, once that cools a little bit, we can come back and cut it and show you how it looks on the inside. Just set my timer here and we're all set. Hi, we're back. I'm taking the second loaf out of the oven and uh, then we're going to cut into that first loaf just so you can see how nice it is, how beautifully they came out. Very nice looking. Just set that peel down and I'll grab a cutting board and uh, I'm going to cut that loaf of bread for you guys just so you can see. So this has been cooling this one for 30 minutes. So it should be perfect to cut. And you'll hear it softened up a bit now that it's had time to cool. But you'll still hear the crunchy texture of it. And so soft and nice. Perfect. A little bit tough on the bottom. But... All right, great. So it's nice and airy and bubbly and perfect crust on there and delicious. Please give this a try. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And once again, that was two loaves out of that recipe. And if you'd like to double it, you will get four loaves of bread at one time. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.